Now, has the mask slipped for ITV presenter Lorraine Kelly? Here she is, discussing our very own Nigel Farage on I'm a Celeb. Hey, what, 59? He's got plenty of years he? ahead of him. Maybe he wants to get going again. Is he only 59? I thought he was a hell of a lot older than that. That's astonishing. Just shows you, you get the face you deserve, yeah. frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. OK. Well, considering Lorraine has spoken in the past about her struggles with weight and promoting body positivity, her recent dig at Nigel seems a little bit out of character, dare I say it, a little bit nasty. And can you imagine the reaction if that had been a male person discussing a female contestant? So tonight I am asking, should Lorraine Kelly apologise for body shaming Nigel Farage and saying he's got the face he deserves? Let me know your thoughts. Email me, gbviews at gbnews.com. Tweet me at gbnews. In fact, preemptively, you've been, you've been getting in touch already. And uh, some of them I might even be able to actually read out live on air. But there's a poll taking place at the moment on our Twitter. I'll bring you the results very shortly. Now, to debate this, I am joined by cleaning guru, the one and only Kim Woodburn and TV presenter, no Jenny sound. Barnett. Right. OK, so I'm going to start with you, Jenny. Do you think that Lorraine was well within her eyes to say that? Is that not body shaming and, dare I say, even sexism? No. If you uh, can elaborate, yeah. it'd be great. If you, <laughs> I will develop this. Listen, if you're going to go on I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here, you are putting yourself self up in the stocks for people to throw tomatoes at you. Nigel Farage has done a great deal of damage, and if anybody can have a go at him, they will. Lorraine Kelly hasn't got a nasty bone in her body, and to shift his bottom into body shaming in a moment of uh, high jinx, really, I think is nonsense. Well, it was Kim, his face. It wasn't his bottom. There's been universal applause for his bottom. It was his face that, that she was having a go. Kim, Kim I'll, I'll get you on this now. Look, what, what do you make of Lorraine's comments? Look, my love, she's a stupid, stupid woman. Let's face it now. How old is she? 63. She's like a child in a playground. He is in there. He's doing a, a splendid job. He's polite and courteous. He's done the trial and got every star. Leave him alone. Lorraine Kelly, you ain't all that, dear. You ain't all that. I don't I think that she No, 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 no. no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Jenny, Jenny, you go. No, Kim, Jenny. I Jenny, go. Jenny, go. Talk no. now, Jenny. Go. I uh, will go. Coco go on, Chanel. Right. Stop, both of you. I'm already getting a little bit sick of this. Jenny, come back to what Kim's just said. Well, I just think throwing personal jibes at someone like Lorraine is is so low. It's not about that. Celebrity is about people watching and seeing other people being humiliated. Coco Chanel said we're born with three faces, one we're born with, one we create and one we deserve. It's not something new to Lorraine Kelly. I think that this is just wanting to knock anybody and people should be allowed to make jokes about a show like all right kim go on kim respond to that then this is why nigel's opened himself up to it go on why should they be allowed to make jokes it's a television show who gives you a right the right i'm speaking shut up you've had your say now don't start and i hope you've done your homework this time because you didn't last time and admitted you hadn't so you shut up for a minute if I go on a television show, I go in because I get a fat check. They've all gone in for the money, which you would as well. God, who'd have you, though? But the point is, you are not supposed to be scrutinised for your face or your bum or your knockers or your... Uh, what is all that? Are we children? And uh, She's 63. Are we children? Hope she scrutinises you, dear. I wonder what you'd say then. Wait till it happens to you, and I bloody well hope it does. You deserve it for right. back in the rain. She was rude and nasty. Um, J Jenny, do you I think was asked, yeah, go on. Actually, I was asked to go on to I'm a Celebrity, but my family said, had I done that, they would never talk to me. So <laughs> turning to the night meant I didn't go on to it. But a programme like that is put on television for people to do exactly what Lorraine is. It's there it is to... Not 
No, well, how did you feel about Mylene Cass being talked about under the shower? Were you as cross about that as you are about this? That was positive, though, I, I think. I mean, I, I, I do tell you what you're saying, but, I mean, that was, from my memory of that, and I think my memory of, of that's actually relatively vivid, it was quite a positive Don't reaction. Um, it was quite a positive reaction. Jenny, can I just... Um, I'll tell you what, both of you, I'm going to play a little clip now, because it's, it's another clip of a female presenter. It's Kay Burley off of a channel that we're not going to name, uh, talking about David Cameron, right? So let's, let's play this. Jobs that were controversial, wrote a memoir, but put never... And, uh, put on weight. Never fully found his feet post... Uh, so just in case we missed that, that was, that was Kay Burley making a joke about David Cameron putting a bit of weight on. Uh, and Kim, I just wonder, you know, are there double standards here in the media? You know, uh, like if these are, these are women talking... You know, pretty bluntly about men's appearances, Kim. They're, they're talking on a television show, not to, if they want to talk among themselves in their lounge with a cup of tea. Oh, go wild, Luffy. But she's on a television show. There's thousands and thousands are listening to this. And it's not fair to, my, to Farage. I'm sorry. Well, they must have history between them. That's her business, not my business. But you don't use every opportunity when you get it to slam someone's face. Who the hell is she to say what does look nice and what doesn't? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We're, it's like kids do in a school. Hello, fatty. They're children, not 63-year-olds, my love. OK, uh, well, final I'm word to you on this, Jenny. I don't agree. Uh, my husband said quite recently that when he sees me naked, he remembers how old he is. And I thought that was quite amusing. The fact is that Nigel Farage has put himself up to be pilloried. And if he didn't think he was going to get pilloried after everything he did with Brexit, then he should actually have not gone on the programme. And I think your assessment of Lorraine is wrong. OK, well, both of you... But you're entitled to your opinion, aren't you? I mean, let's be honest, your husband doesn't sound like a gentleman to me, let's be perfectly honest. My husband looks at me after many years of marriage. Well, that's your opinion. You've got him, I haven't. My husband looks at me after all our years of marriage and says to me, Kim, you're as beautiful as the day I met you. Now, he might be lying through his teeth, but we women want that. If you don't want it, there's something wrong with you to call you an old bat. Right. He never is calling you an old bat, and you're getting with thank you, darling. I OK, this has descended into the gutter now, so we'll call it a day. Thank you very much, both of you. Lovely stuff. And in a way, that was exactly what we wanted. Right, OK, so uh, Kim Woodburn there, the one and only, and TV presenter Jenny Barnett, who is fair to say have history, and very recent history. So, who do you agree with? Should Lorraine Kelly apologise for body-shaming Nigel Farage and saying that he's got the face he deserves? Rob on Twitter says, if Nigel had said something like that about Lorraine, there would have been absolute uproar. He would have been labelled a misogynistic and arrogant man. Well, yeah, he would have done. But he wouldn't have said it, though, is the thing. He just wouldn't have said it. That's not Nigel, is it? Kevin on Twitter says, why do people think they can make such personal comments about Nigel? Maybe she's slagging him off because she thinks that'll make her popular with ITV bosses. Simon on Twitter says, I don't think Nigel will care what Lorraine is saying about him. He's too busy winning in the jungle. Well, look, your verdict is in.